my name is Fabrizio Fantoni, and I work uh, as a system administrator and Zabbix trainer in uh, Systematica. Systematica is uh, the tech, uh, tech subsidiary of uh, Gruppo Fimatica. Uh, Gruppo Fimatica is an Italian company who develops uh, software for public organization and uh, hospital and uh, healthcare administration. We develop software like uh, human resource, like uh, document management or uh, warehouse management for city, hospital, and province. Zabbix, uh, we use Zabbix mostly for uh, proactive support to our server and software installed uh, in the customer site. It's a big distributed environment with a lot of proxy, or any for uh, our customer, and about uh, 500 new values per second. Why? We have a speech about uh, IoT. Our customer, especially public administration, uh, start asking us, uh, us uh, about information and project uh, on, um, regarding the Internet of Things. In Italy, it's a new hype now. So we need to follow business and make a customer happy. In uh, my talk, I show you our consideration about the uh, Internet of Things, uh, the business opportunity we have shown in it, and uh, the path we have followed to create a usable project uh, and uh, that uses Zabbix as uh, an IoT engine. What? Okay, what is IoT? Um, first of all, uh, I'm sure that everybody of you knows uh, uh, this three letter, which means Internet of Things. IoT describes a new way to interact with things around us, but what does it mean? Uh, starting for the first mainframe a lot of uh, years ago, uh, to serve a personal computer, tablet, smartphone. Now everything can be connected on the internet and be reachable every time and everywhere. But most important things can provide data. But what is data? Data can be temperature, can be electric measurement, or uh, more exotic data like uh, who do this perfect software, uh, people inside this building, or uh, traffic on the road, like uh, Google traffic is an IoT application. Data help uh, people to take a better decision, like uh, change road, or uh, change holiday plan. And company, especially company, to uh, reduce, reduce costs and optimize investment. More data you have, the more data you want. It's only the trend of the moment, no. It's uh, a business, and it's one of the growing business in, uh, in our day. A lot of companies were born following um, this business, but a lot of them failed. It's a new way to use data, and we must be ready to work with it. There are, in my opinion, but not only in my opinion, three different entities who are involved in IoT. Consumer, government, and business. One, one of the risks of uh, working with IoT business is the wideness of the concept. Uh, IoT is not a new framework or a new programming languages. IoT is a new way to get and use an heterogeneous type of data. And uh, in our opinion, uh, in my opinion, our opinion, you can divide IoT into big concepts. IoT for consumer marketplace, like uh, mobile phone, bracelet, GPS, home automation, for uh, consumer. IoT in uh, industry and uh, smart cities, use it in projects, specific projects for energy management, industrial automation, or environment monitoring. There are two different ways to use the same technology and have totally different goals. What is IoT in consumer marketplace? There are many vendors in an, an extreme competitive market some still make business, some fail in short time. I remember some vendor like Jabon. There isn't a standard way to retrieve and storing data as development. There isn't a standard way. Some vendor give you an API, some vendor open access to the sensors. It's not easy to interact with different sensors of different vendor. And IoT in consumer marketplace is born to collect a huge amount of data, to analyze it and give a better experience to the final user. It's a job for big data analysts, in our opinion, I repeat. Different things 
is IoT for industry and smart cities. There is a lot of hype now around this uh, type of IoT, thanks to international projects like uh, smart cities or Industry 4.0. The way that data is gathered and collected must be readable. Data, in this case, is not a statistic of my running performance to share with my friend, but it's used to take decision on the next investment. One of the top targets that I see in the IoT in industry and smart cities is to analyze where energy is wasted and to reduce cost and pollution. the way we have to choose. When we have to choose, as a company, to invest uh, in uh, one of those fields, we choose to work with the industry and smart cities, obviously. <laughs> Customer market has a different need, far from our company mission and our competence. Smart cities and industries still require custom implementation and a company who follows the entire process and give future support. Retrieve data must to be easily available and exportable, to be locally analyzed. An uh, industry wants to have data for building purpose inside. A uh, city has uh, another big concept is open data. A lot of cities must export data. Being my company, a company which develops software for public uh, and healthcare, obviously we feel more comfortable in those kind of projects. Okay, now we can, can go deep in uh, the requirement of industry or smart city. Starting with the industry. Industry sensors were not born with IoT in mind. Most of them existing before IoT. What we need is to use the existing sensor, but ensure data will be available not only inside the company, but from everywhere. Sensor and hardware used for connecting data and sending data must be able to work in an industrial environment. It's not only a problem of dust, electronic noise, or size. The devices must be certified to be installed in an industry. So using a laptop over an electric panel with some wired inside is not a viable option. The software and the hardware used for gathering data in industry must work with minimal maintenance. Industry may not have an IT department inside. The collected data are a great value, as I, told, as I said before. And the, the ability to extract this type of data and use them is a must-have. Smart cities. Smart cities refer to a lot of different projects. Some of them start with a, a big design and implementation and end with nothing. The most common cause of this failing is the cost rising during the deployment. A solution for a, a smart cities must be able to start small with minimal investment and grow over time. Data must be always reusable if you want to export them as open data. Open data is one of the targets of smart cities. Using a, a well-known and supported product gives us ability to create a reusable project and can be used in many sites with minimal deployment effort. Create a standard project and put in many cities. Okay. A one, no, this type of sensor. We talk about data. Let's try to understand how to get those data. The world is full of any type of sensor, from the cheap one to the expensive and professional. The sensor is the core of monitor deployment and must give true and precise data for a long time. A unique way to retrieve data from sensors doesn't exist. Most uh, of sensors in the industry use a protocol called Modbus. Some one of you knows this protocol, I think. But not all sensors talk Modbus. A lot of them, like the blue one, Poseidon 2, talk SMP over Ethernet. Other sensors over Wi-Fi. Other have a specific set of API. If you want to retrieve data from all of them, we need to find a way to use any type of protocol. Can that be used for it? Yes, this is a lot of a requirement, of a requirement but Zabbix can use. But need the right hardware to be compatible. What feature makes Zabbix the right monitor solution for this type of project? First of all, distribute monitoring via Zabbix proxy. That gives us ability to create a network or remote data gathering device 
one for each industry, one for each, uh, one for each piece of the industry. And keep data and configuration in a safe place. Custom item to put data in many different ways for any type of sensor. As I told before, sensors have a lot of protocol to be uh, pulled. VSMP, Modbus, Custom Script, or for log with the log item. Open database schema. Ability to extract data with common report utility. Data must be uh, available to the final user. API to integrate Zabbix with other data visualization software like Grafana. I think a lot of people use this software. Or automated configuration management. The resource requirement for the proxy is very low and give ability to use any small Linux appliance and use it as a Zabbix proxy to retrieve data from sensor. But Zabbix alone is not enough. There are also three big challenges to face up. The first one is a fantastic Modbus protocol. As I said before, a lot of sensors use this protocol. It's not Ethernet. It's a serial protocol and it specifies serial port and software module. And I need uh, the ability to add a remote sensor from configuration. It must be done without working on the gateway itself, if, especially if the gateway is a closed box inside the um, uh, industry. And don't need to change the file on the gateway. The hardware used to run the gateway must be compliant to the industry specification and law, especially if you use it in an energy management project or installed in the electrical panel. Let's start with the first topic, Modbus, the standard of industrial communication. This protocol is used in a lot of sensors. It works well and doesn't need any other equipment other than the sensor. It can be extended over one kilometer with only two wires and can be used to pull from one to 247 devices with only two wires in one kilometer, so that's great. Every sensor connected in a Modbus uh, wire can be pulled for numeric, integer, or float and string values. This protocol is supported by Zabbix, thanks to the great work of uh, Zuralev. Zuralev is here. Thank you. <laughs> it's worked well. Second topic, the ability to change configuration without having to edit file or working on the gateway itself. This simply be done by using Zabbix proxy installed on the gateway and a smart users of template. Zabbix proxy has uh, other good features like um, active proxy, will allow us to retrieve data from remote site and not direct reachable, or the caching of data that uh, us to not stop getting data in case of communication problem and send them later. Data is the uh, most important phases of uh, an IoT project. The configuration is stored on Zabbix server configuration of data gathering. So it's easy to change the file hardware, only change the gateway. And proxy internal monitoring and Zabbix agent on the proxy. There's the ability to analyze the performance of the gateway itself and before when this someone doesn't work as expected, before starting to lose data. Third topic, the hardware used for the gateway has to be small, durable and with good performance. So we did uh, some research and we found the perfect hardware for what we need, at least the perfect hardware. This, the, this hardware is called uh, Gropo, Gropius Multi-Utility Concentrator. It's not our hardware, it's a company that we work together. Uh, it's not um, a mini PC inside the box, but it's designed to be used as a concentrator for different sources of data. It's uh, based on Linux. Uh, funless, especially, and uh, have a lot of modules, a lot of optional modules to communicate with uh, every kind of sensor that industry have. It can be used Ethernet, Wi-Fi, or GSM if uh, no network uh, is available. And it's most important, it's certified to be used in the industrial environment and have a form factor for the industrial environment. But the most, most important things is compatible with Zabbix Proxy and Agent 3.0. If um, the main box is not enough, 
So not only Modbus, but also the wireless protocol. It can be expanded with other module to be able to communicate using the new Wi-Fi standard that is used now for the, the industrial sensor, like six low pan dust and more. But what they need for the project that I will describe is a Modbus port and the Modbus module that include in the core module. Okay, now we have all the elements and the knowledge to design a simple IoT project focused on energy management in this case. In my company office, we change the, the lightning, lighting system to LED and we need to have evidence of cost reduction. In the, in the project, uh, we use Dubix as the gateway as I described before to retrieve those data. Our office is spread over two levels and divided in nine different zones by the electric fuse box. First, I had to choose a sensor, an industrial sensor that ca I can put inside my fuse box. The sensor I use is a NEMO D4 LE. It's a three-phase multimeter with Modbus output. Uh, to, po to communicate with the gateway using the existing Ethernet cable of my company with a plug near the fuse box, and connect all my sensors the, to the Gropius gateway. This is a logic scheme of the connection. We can see in the middle, the gateway, as I described, the gateway is connected to the big server via, via LAN, via local area network, so I don't use Wi-Fi or GSM in this case. The gateway has a, the Modbus cable connect to every multimeter. In uh, this case, we, uh, we see only from one to four, but we have nine multimeters. To identify every sensor must have a different Modbus ID, and it's configurable only on the sensor in this case. So before installing a new sensor, you must know the ID assigned to the other sensor in your cable. The correct cabling and configuration of the sensor are the most important phase. It's hard to debug a connectivity problem or a misconfiguration, especially on Modbus. On the gateway is installed the Zabbix proxy and Zabbix agent for self-monitoring. What I need to do on the big server? You need to configure a proxy, active or passive pro proxy. In this case, we are on land and not a problem. We create an host for every sensor with uh, some description of the host, like the location of the host, like the description of the sensor installed. And the host is put under monitoring of proxy and have a macro. The macro is a Modbus ID of the host on the sensor. You don't need, obviously, to specify an IP address because the sensor is identified only by the Modbus ID. So we can go ahead and create our item. You know the syntax? <laughs> the Modbus extension is compiled a loadable module on the proxy. So the item is called, called the Modbus module, a simple check from the proxy, with some parameter. First one is a serial port where the Modbus cable is connected on the gateway. In this case, the gateway sees this port as TTYNS1. Second is the macro, because I use a template, obviously, to put template on all my sensors. The macro that identifies the Modbus ID. In this case, carry break, Modbus underscore ID, carry break. Third one is the best one. Is the X number of the Modbus registry of the measure we want. You need the data sheet of the sensor for, to find this number. And to understand the data sheet, you need a bit of electronic knowledge. It's not easy. The other parameter depends on the type of data, and this is a Modbus specification in this case. We ask for integral or float, and it's described in the data sheet too. You can't try a passive item on the proxy, so if you want to try your measure, you can load module in the, the Zabbix agent of the, of the gateway and use Zabbix get utility to call the same key. So, try if the Modbus works well and the measure you have is maybe what you want. Okay, all my sensors work well. This is a graph in a day range of the consume of the lighting system from all sensors. Okay, graph design in Zabbix can be proved, but 
is understandable. What I need is data. And what, uh, from those data, what key, we start to understand something about uh, how people work in my company. The company opened at 7, uh, at uh, 30, 30, 30, 30 past 7, <laughs> half past 7 in the morning. It's uh, summer, so it's light in Italy. And not too many lights are switched on. Nothing changed during the day until half past seven in the evening when the cleaning staff switch on all the light. At half past eight, office closed and light were switched off. This is a screenshot of the latest data that I gathered from one sensor. It's a very small subset of the data you can pull from an industrial multimeter. Data sheet is full of other type of data, other possible data from volt, ampere, watt, to some strange data like active power or active power, cause of fee. <laughs> some of them are extremely useful to understand if the electrical system work well. Take a look uh, to our data. We have the active power, C uh, 73 watts, not, not more for a light. We see the ampere of the phase one and the ampere for phase two and phase three is a, a three phase multimeter. Total ampere and total power used. The total power user is a, um, a counter on the multimeter itself, not on the abix. And it's what you pay for the, for the use for your light consumption. Somebody know? <laughs> and you have a panel to show on our office wall, in a TV on our office wall. This is made on Grafana, and pull data from Zabbix server via API. The panel shows two different graphs, one for the first floor and one for the second floor, and the actual power consumption, consumption one, kilo, one kilowatt and 66, and the total power used since the sensor were installed in megawatt per hour. Try to imagine if uh, instead of light consumption, you have a solar panel on the roof. You don't need to change nothing in the architecture we create in the project. Only the position of the sensor that measures not only not consumption, but some creation of energy and some label. It was easy to get here. No. Not, it needs a lot of testing and evaluation, especially on sensor type and way to get data from those sensors. Working, uh, working with electrical panel, electrical measure, and uh, cabling requires support from someone who does it as a job. It's not an IT work. Understanding the Modbus protocol and how to compile and use the Zabbix model was another challenge. Cabling. Cabling is a long job, as it's not always feasible, especially if you need to retrieve data from a lot of sensors. Choosing sensors that, have, uh, that use industrial Wi-Fi protocol, it uh, could be a solution. Future project. The case history, you will see, is only a proof of concept to test the architecture, the configuration, and the hardware for using Zabbix as a core of an IoT architecture, focused on energy management, only focused on energy management. IoT, as I told, is a big concept. There are actually other projects involving the gateways, as described, the Gropius gateway, especially focused on remote reading of utility meter for building purpose. What we want what we like to want is to create an open architecture based on Zabbix and a selected list of sensors and templates that can be easy adapt to any type of metering project. And so what we have learned in this experience. The architecture, the architecture of Zabbix, distribute monitoring, remote proxy, loadable module, custom item, API, are the strong point of Zabbix and give us a great monitoring everything product. 
But this kind of project requires skill in many areas, not only Zabbix. It requires skill in, in electronic devices and in industrial certification and laws. But Zabbix is not only a server, network, and application monitoring, but can be used effectively in an IoT scenario like what I show, I show you. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, questions from Slido, please. Uh, yes, uh, we have a very limited time, so there will be only two most popular questions. Uh, and the first que question is, uh, so the proxy actually can be installed on any Linux powered machine, and there is uh, many uh, cheap uh, microcomputers like Raspberry or um, so uh, what why you de you decide to use some specific hardware <laughs> when uh, when um, our customer ask us about uh, this type of project uh, the first idea is to use a simple mi micro PC and uh, use an SMP sensor but after we see after we saw the first sensor that use Modbus protocol and what is Modbus protocol okay try to buy a converter from uh, USB to Modbus. Okay, it's work well. You can use this micro PC with a converter and uh, this sensor. Okay, but there are other sensors that use uh, a Wi-Fi protocol. Okay, we need another type of converter. Another type. Okay, we can't manage the hardware. So we we looking for a company who do this job, create an hardware and create another who can uh, work with a lot of sensors, but this company don't use Zabbix before, so we try to make business together. Okay, you give me your devices and give me support to how to use your devices, and we give you support to how to use Zabbix in these devices. So this is the story about uh, this uh, this hardware. Okay, thank you. Uh, and the second, uh, what is the cons of Zabbix in IoT infrastructure and uh, what we can do to improve it? <laughs> Zabbix, as I told, is, uh, is great for an IoT, in IoT infrastructure, but only in uh, this type of IoT infrastructure where you have to work with uh, smart cities, with industry, in a little projects, with a specific project and follow it from the beginning to the end. It's, I think it's not uh, prepared to manage a huge amount of data, huge amount of data, because um, the DB the type of database, maybe change the database using a NoSQL database can improve the way that Zabbix can work in IoT environment. But it depends if I want to you work in the consumer type of IoT. If we want to focus on uh, industry and smart cities, uh, I think Zabbix is enough. But uh, if you want to do uh, something for all IoT, we need to change uh, something in the architecture of Zabbix. Okay, but thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, Fabrizio. <laughs>